Hi, my name is Monica Burns. I'm an EdTech and Curriculum Consultant from New York, founder of ClassTechTips.com, and a webinar host for Simple K-12. I'm going to talk to you today about how to make an interactive picture. And so in order to make an interactive picture, you can use one of my favorite websites. There's also an Android app and an iPad app called ThingLink. Now I'm already logged into ThingLink here. Um, so this is my dashboard, my teacher view. This is a free tool, but you can upgrade to do extra things. But what we're going to do today is totally free. So I'm already logged into my account and I'm going to go up here to where it says create. And the idea with ThingLink is that you choose an image for your background and then you add tags to that image. So you can do this with all sorts of um, pictures, um, but the picture that we're going to make interactive today is a poster and it is going to be a how-to poster and we're going to put some steps on top of it. So it's an interactive poster. So I'm going to choose images and in order to do that, I'm going to go here into my um, folders right here and I have my how-to poster and I'm gonna open that up right here. And so it's gonna open up my poster and it's nice and big here on my screen and it's going to let me add tags over my poster. So I can click anywhere. So it's how to start a back channel in your classroom. So if I wanted to um, put some steps on here, I could tap anywhere and it gives me my little button and I can go ahead and change that um, if I wanted access to a whole bunch more. Um, I definitely could, but for right now, we can go ahead and choose, say, a letter for my steps to follow. Um, so I can put a link in here. So maybe I want this to link to a YouTube video um, or something, but right now we're going to just type in some text. So how to start a back channel in your classroom. I might say for A, it's going to be step A, open up the back channel and show students the dashboard. So that might be the first step here. And I can save my tag, and you'll notice that when I put my um, cursor on top of it, ooh, and I just made an extra one, so we'll trash that. When I put my um, cursor on top of this, it will show that step I just made. So I've got my one tag there, maybe I'll put my next one, and I can change this, say, to the letter B. So I can say step B, and then I can put in my step B um, for how to start a back channel. So I can add as many tags as I want. Um, here I have two, and I'm just gonna save this just for now to show you. And you'll see when it opens up that as soon as I put my cursor over here, my buttons pop up right there, and the text pops up. So with ThingLink, you can add tags to the screen, um, your posters, um, whatever picture you have, and when students click on it, they'll see these information pop up. So that is how to make an interactive picture with ThingLink.com.